Swinburne University of Technology. My name is uh, Professor John Wilson. Um, I'm Deputy Dean of the Faculty of Engineering and Industrial Sciences and I'm also the uh, Director for the, uh, the Centre for Sustainable Infrastructure. I'm Riyad al Mahedi. I am Professor of Structural Engineering and the Director of the Smart Structures Laboratory. The title of this lab is the Smart Structures Laboratory and it's a, it's a, it's a large facility. Um, it's, a, it's got a, a floor plan of 20 metres long, 8 metres wide and it's got these unique reaction walls in, the, uh, in, the, in one of the corners, five metres high. And with that, we can actually um, test a number of specimens. We can actually load those specimens up and, uh, and test them to destruction. We can proof test um, items for industry as well. And we've basically got a, a number of very, very large actuators, and actuators like hydraulic jacks. And they range in, in capacity from 10 tonnes to 200 tonnes. Swimmer University of Technology, when they were planning this new advanced technology centre, wanted a landmark laboratory on the ground floor, and they wanted that to be highly visible to the public. Uh, what this uh, advanced testing uh, technology does is that it saves a lot on, in, on, on testing real, big, real structures. And instead, we test smaller components or less, uh, uh, some components of the structures that are critical, and the rest of the structure is sitting all in, on the computer. So some of the, the projects we've got going on right now, one of the um, early testing we're doing is for the offshore industry, looking at uh, um, fatigue on, on uh, large chains for, uh, for ships. We've got other um, projects happening, and that's looking at carbon strengthening of, uh, of materials. And that's the sort of technology that's been recently used on the, on the Westgate Bridge. We always at Swinburne pride ourselves on being uh, producing graduates which are pretty much uh, industry ready, and we pride ourselves on doing research which is quite applied and it's got a lot of uh, industry outcomes. And this laboratory gives us that facility to, uh, to create a, a lot more testing for industry. And many of those tests lead on to quite good applied research projects as well for our students. Students do look for world-class facilities uh, in order to conduct uh, state-of-the-art research that is very much in the area of, you know, like to address environmental issues, to address sustainable development of structures, sustainable development of transport infrastructure, and so on. So yes, this is going to attract top students from around the world. We already have got uh, a number of students who have arrived to use this facility for that purpose. It's absolutely world-class facility, this one. It's, um, it's a real state-of-the-art. It's a $15 million facility, great investment from the, the university. And we've also gone into collaboration with 11 other universities around the country to have some shared equipment so that we can do some state-of-the-art testing here, but also provides access for other universities to come and collaborate with us here as well. This has been a Swinburne production. Thank you.